Morning skip. Not the result, obviously, that the team was hoping for. Um, would you like to point any finger to where there could have been a deficiency or deficiencies in the team's performance? Um, I think when you look on the larger picture, it's a, it's a disappointing World Cup. You know, we, we, we wanted to win just like any other team, but you know, we weren't able to, 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 to win tonight. You know, I think as a as a team, we played some good cricket. We played good cricket in patches, you know, and tonight was a night was a night where, where, where our batters were, were, were 15, 20 run short and a difficult wicket. There's a feeling that the game plan was to go hard at the South African bowling um, with possible rain coming. Was that, was, that, was that part of the plan to attack the bowling in anticipation that it would rain? The rain wasn't a factor in, in how we play, you know, the inclement weather isn't something we can control, especially when you're batting first. You know, so our plan was, was to be aggressive because we know the first six overs is always important in T20 cricket, you know, we tried to transfer the pressure as a batting group, but tonight it just didn't work. Uh, what do you think was the reason for the, the display from maybe the top six batsmen? Was it nerves? Was it you know, a little bit of anxiety? Over caution, uh, train caution to the wind. So I to think speak. I think it's just a case of the wicket not being an easy wicket to bat on. To be honest, you know it, it needed a little bit more grit, a little bit more determination than we show. You know if you should look on the how both teams bat on it, even South Africa kind of struggled to get the 136 runs that we made. You know so it, it wasn't the easiest of surface, but as players we have to adapt and and and, and come up with solutions. At 15, to 15 for two, South Africa chasing and the rain came. That sort of uh, maybe dampened the momentum. Yeah, those things happen. You know, as I say, we can't control the inclement weather. But at 15 for two, when we came off with the rain, the guys believe, and that is what is important. Um, Rothman, can you describe the the emotion that was there before the game started? There was such a big build up and the beautiful performance and the the packed crowd here. Was that difficult to deal with that that emotion at, at the start no to be honest the emotions was leveled leveled in the sense where the guys left the hotel wanting to play for the people of the caribbean wanting to win you know and it just it just we just weren't successful tonight and it's it's sports it's a game of cricket and those things do happen uh, how difficult was it out there when you were fielding after that rain you were desperately looked like desperately trying to dry that ball was that making things particularly difficult for the spinners, I guess, especially when, when Klass and kind of them went after you? Yeah, we know it was always going to be a little bit difficult with the wet ball, especially for us with three spinners. You know, but having said that, I think the guys, the bowling group, have to be commended. You know, only 130 on the board, and I think they really fought for us. Yeah, did you... They, they pulled right back. Uh, you, thought, you thought, obviously, that you, you had a chance to to go particularly when they lost that last wicket did you think you still had it then yeah i think even down to the last we thought we thought we were in for a shot you know we just were just were a little a little off in in in, in every time we're trying to we're trying to prevent a boundary they get a boundary you know they get boundaries at critical stage of the game and that will always hurt us as a team and just i guess a word on the 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 atmosphere tonight and you know David Rudder asked the crowd to rally and they really did try and rally for you. What, what, what did that mean to you? Yeah, it means a lot. You know, it means a lot. It means a lot. You know, for, for, for cricket to be, to be buzzing again in the Caribbean is a very good feeling. You know, when, when we turn up to all the venues, we started in Guyana and it was fantastic. And then we moved to Trinidad with a sold out crowd. You know, we went to St. Lucia, which, which was beautiful also. And then we went to Barbados in a sold out crowd again. And coming to Antigua to see so much people around the Caribbean rallying around us, giving us a buzz, you know, is very, very important. And it goes to show how important cricket is in the region in unifying in the Caribbean islands. The beauty of the, the T20 World Cup format is that you've got just two years until the next one. I know you, know, you don't want to reflect you know, too much on, on maybe tonight, but maybe looking ahead going forward, what do you kind of take from the, the positives from this tournament for, for two years' time? I think not just, not, not just this tournament, but the cricket that we have played over the last 12 months, you know, to take 
12 months to move from number 9 in the world to number 3 in the ICC ranking is an absolutely amazing jump. You know, it's for us as a team to continue working. It's for us as a team to stay still close, close-knitted. And it's for us as a team to just keep on building. You know, as you say, 24 months time, we have another shot of the World Cup. Hopefully guys here can continue playing and doing well in international cricket and franchise cricket. And when that time comes, we'll have the same core of players trying to win a World Cup for the Caribbean. That's actually across all three formats, really, because you've had, you know, there's been test success in one-day cricket as well, and now looking uh, at 2020 cricket. But for, for Robin Powell, what's, you know, what, what's the what's the goal? What do you individually do to, to kind of keep helping West Indies move move forward the way that they, they seem to be? I think it's always it's always a, a case for me as a as a captain to continue to. To, 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 to motivate guys to play for West Indies, you know, the driving force of, in, of a franchise cricket and the money that comes with franchise cricket make it always difficult to West Indies in a small board to feel their best team, you know, but I think it's been it's been good so far for the last year or two, you know, and hopefully hopefully guys can always and will, will mainly choose to play for West Indies, you know, there's a buzz around the region now in playing for West Indies, so hopefully that continues, hopefully we continue on the right path. And uh, what do you say to the Caribbean public who would have been a little bit disappointed uh, with the West Indies not going all the way? What, what words of assurance can you give to the Caribbean public at this time? They are disappointed. We as players are disappointed because we think we are the personnel within our room to actually win a home World Cup. You know, but having said that, we have played good cricket, we have entertained them in patches, you know, and it's just for them to keep on supporting us. You know, you know how important the support is in whatever you do. So I would implore them to just keep on working with us, keep on supporting us. Over the last 12 months or so, we have, we have played fantastic cricket. It's maybe one of the first time a West Indies team is ranked number three in T20 in the world, and that must say something. Just looking back and taking the Super 8 into context, how much, has, how much that defeat to England would have you know, hurt the team's chances of progressing to the um, semis? I think the defeat against England was, was, was very disappointing for us as players, but also it was a wake-up call. It was a wake-up call because we were playing consistently good cricket. So it showed us, it showed us that, hey, on, in T20 cricket, anything is possible, you know. But, you know, it, looking back now in hindsight, we can say that two points against England was very, very important because we see how the group, how the group come down. But having said that, each and every game in the Super 8, we know it was gonna be is it was gonna be tough. We know each and every game in the Super 8 was always important. Thank you. Thanks.